Greetings, boils and ghouls. I've got a chilling tale that'll make your spine tingle and your hair stand on end. Meet our unfortunate protagonist, Samuel Jorgensen. An ordinary man living in an ordinary world. But his life took a horrifying turn when he started seeing things no one else could. Unearthly visions of grotesque meat monsters lurking in the shadows. Picture this, folks, masses of sinew and flesh, oozing blood and gristle with every step. Oh, poor Sammy boy tried to tell his friends, his family. Even his therapist, Dr. Macabra, about these nightmarish apparitions, but they all thought he was suffering from some macabre madness. They couldn't see what he saw, but let me assure you, it was no hallucination. Day by day, Sam watched as the meat monsters multiplied and terrorized his world. They were silent, stealthy, waiting to drag unsuspecting victims into the darkness. Their appetite for flesh was insatiable, and no one was safe. The streets ran red with the blood of the oblivious. As Sam's sanity unraveled, he grew desperate to find answers. To escape the meaty nightmare that had swallowed his life whole, he became a recluse, barricading himself in his decrepit, musty apartment. He'd whisper to himself, trying to decipher the cryptic messages he believed the meat monsters were sending. One night, as he huddled in a dim corner, eyes darting around in sheer madness, the ceiling above him started to sag and drip. Rancid juices fell onto his trembling form and he could feel them seeping through his clothes. Then, he realized the horrifying truth. He wasn't just seeing the meat monsters. He was becoming one. Samuel Jorgensen had joined the ranks of the grotesque entities he so feared. The cryptic messages were no longer a mystery, but a grim declaration. His humanity was lost in a sick twist of fate. And now he was condemned to wander the night, a hooking slab of meat with an unding hunger for human flesh. So, Kitty, remember sometimes the real monsters are the ones we carry within us, and reality can be more terrifying than any gruesome tale. It's enough to make you scream, but don't you worry, there's plenty more chilling yarns waiting to turn your blood to ice right here in the crypt. You <laughs> hey, huh? <laughs>